Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be filming a different kind of video for you guys. Obviously, it's kind of gonna be vlog style. I'm using my old camera. This is the G7X. I haven't used it in forever, so hopefully it works. Hopefully I look okay. <laughs> but today I'm gonna be doing a makeup collection video, and you guys have been requesting this for so long, and I've just never done it because I didn't really see the point because I do not have a lot of makeup. I literally have one desk with one drawer. But that being said, it is overflowing right now just because um, being a YouTuber and doing this over time, I did collect a little bit too much makeup for this desk. Um, so it's gotten very unorganized and I just grew out of it. And so I thought I would go ahead and get a new desk with some new storage, which I'm super excited about. And so I thought I would show you guys the kind of before and after because just to make this video a little bit more interesting, just because I didn't want to be like, oh, here's my makeup and show you like five things. I'm just kidding, I have more than five things, but I just wanted to show you guys this way and show you my new desk and how I'm going to organize it and I'm just super excited. Um, but I thought I would go ahead and show you my desk now before I change it and everything. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So this is my desk. Um, I got the same one from Ikea, but it was already built. It only has one drawer. Okay, so it has these cubicles right here, which I thought was going to be like good storage. But as you could see from this mess right here, it's not. My lipsticks just fall all over. Um, I have some palettes right here just because my palettes don't fit in the thing that I actually got them for because it's like overflowing. Um, I have some books and stuff back here, but this is going to be all my nail polish stuff and miscellaneous like miniature travel size makeup products um and then this bag i have more nail polish so i need a place for those because as you can see right here it's just messy um right here i have this lettering holder and it holds all my eyeshadow palettes and stuff like that um as you can see it's overflowing my new jaclyn hill palette doesn't even fit in there and it's just a hot mess um i have lip glosses and stuff i'm not going to go in depth with the makeup just because i'm going to show you when it's in the new desk this is the one drawer that it has and it houses all my makeup this is pretty much all of it plus what's up there and on the sides um but it worked for a while but now it's just overflowing to be honest i have some more acrylic holders back there i got these from the container store but yeah, it's just looking really bad. I can't wait to have more storage. That's why I really wanted those drawers. Just kind of have everything stacked on top of each other. I even have some stuff back here. So yeah, that is the before. I cannot wait to put the new desk up. Um, so he went ahead and built both drawers already. This is what the drawers look like by themselves that everybody gets. But I'm going to be using these as legs for the desk. And then this is the tabletop. I wanted to get the glossy one, but they actually don't sell that one anymore. It's not online, it's not in store. So I just had to go with that. I might pick up some plexiglass or some regular glass. I just have to find the right size because this is kind of a weird size and it was really hard to find. Um, but for now that will just do. This is the name of the table. It's 59 by 29 and a half. Got the color white and yeah i just thought i would show you guys this because this is what i was looking for when i was watching videos because nobody was really seeing the sizing and so yeah if that size fits it would be perfect but i just wanted to show you guys the before so this is the before and so yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to show you guys right now i will show you everything once we have the desk built and where we're gonna put it in everything and then i'll show you more of the makeup collection because right now everything is just a hot mess and so yeah i'll talk to you guys later on okay guys so today is a different day um but this is taking some time we had to rearrange the whole room because this desk ended up being bigger than we thought it was going to be but we have the table on top now and we have the drawers situated um i did buy some glue to glue them down um but it's actually doing really good by itself like not moving so i don't think i'm going to be using the glue just because it would be easier to move later on if we could take it apart if you know what i'm saying and this thing right here is actually a clear glossy table that i bought to put on top and just so it doesn't get scratched and it has that more like luxurious feel to where it's glossy um but we had to get it cut because it was too big but this thing actually ended up costing more than the actual tabletop um but i'll have it linked down below we got it from lowe's and we got it cut to fit the desk perfectly something we also got from lowe's was this marble paper and i'm actually going to apply this to the top of the desk before we put the screen on top 
just so it could be marble and then have the glossy finish on top just because I wanted it to look a little bit different than everybody else's desk and so I got this it was super cheap it was like seven dollars got it from Lowe's and it's just in the shade like marble and so yeah we're gonna apply this right now and then I'm gonna take all my stuff from my old desk which is now over here and apply all my makeup to this desk so I just wanted to show you guys this stuff before we got started okay, guys so it's the next day we finish building the desk completely um, we put the marble paper on and then we also put the acrylic sheet that we got from Lowe's on top and as you can see um, I left like the white kind of part on so it gave a more like subtle marble um, we marbled my laptop and you could kind of see the difference um, but it's so cool look I mean it lights up it looks so beautiful so now I have a marble laptop as well um, but we also brought it down right here so it looks a little bit more realistic um, but you could clearly tell that I have that thing on top but I love it because it's so like smooth and like if I spill anything or get this dirty it's just gonna be way easier to clean and yeah so now it's just time to put all the makeup inside and I have all my makeup right here on the floor and I'm gonna go through it and clean it organize it and put it in the desk and I'll show you guys after okay guys so I'm officially done with my vanity I love it so much now I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you guys okay so first I'm gonna start off by showing you what is on top of my vanity so I have this little box this is what my perfume this one came in um, but I'm using it to store my sponges and beauty blenders and then this is like a puff right here um, so I'm just keeping that there for now because I think it looks cute okay so over here I have this case from the Jaclyn Hill a brush collection and on top I have my perfumes that I'm loving right now which is the Marc Jacobs Mod Nior flower balm and I think that's called flora by Gucci and then right here I have this little letter press thing um, it has like arrows on it let me show you so it just has little bow and arrows on here and I have my palettes that I mainly use up here so the most to use palettes like my Jaclyn Hill palette and then my Anastasia modern renaissance palette and then back here is just a big BH Cosmetics palette that I don't really use, but I don't have nowhere to put it. I mainly use that one for Halloween looks. So that is where I'm, I'm keeping most of my eyeshadow palettes. And then right here I have this little mug from Time Los Angeles. It's super cute. It has like lipsticks on there. And I have a whole bunch of lippies in here, like lip glosses, um, some chapstick. This is a Kiko lipstick. Then I have some more lip glosses from Bare Minerals. Just a lots of random lip products that don't really go anywhere else. So that is where they live. And then right over here we have another lipstick acrylic thing. This is one that I got from Ross. And it has all my Stila liquid lipsticks right here in the front. Um, this one's a Bare Minerals lip gloss and then a Buxom lip gloss. So in the back row is all ColourPop liquid lipsticks. Except for these two. These two right here. This nude... This nude right here and this red are Anastasia liquid lipsticks. And then I just have my two Dose of Color liquid lipsticks right here. This one's Truffle and this one's Pinky Promise. Two of my favorites. And I'm also going to pick some more of those up during the 21 Days of Beauty. Okay, so right behind these liquid lipsticks, I have some little eyeshadow palettes and some just regular palettes. This is the NYX Professional eyeshadow palette. I have a Makeup Forever eyeshadow palette that I made myself. Then I have my Marc Jacobs Contouring Palette. I use this almost every day, so I just like to have it close to me. Then I have this Sleek Highlighting Palette right here. Then we have a NYX Contour and Conceal Palette. And this is the eyeshadow palette I use on an everyday basis. It has Makeup Geek Frappe, Anastasia's Morocco, Anastasia Fudge, and Anastasia Beauty Mark. And it just creates an everyday look. So I have that right there because I use it every single day. And then right here in these little cubbies, I have some lip pencils and some razors just in case I see some hairs I don't want and Q-tips. Okay, so right here I have another acrylic lipstick holder. I think I got this one from Ross. And in the back are all Buxom lip glosses. It was like a collection that I got for Christmas. So I have those back there. And then right here, these are two Kat Von D lipsticks. And right here is just another Buxom lipstick. I think this is a liquid lipstick. 
Okay, and right here behind the first row, you can't really see them, but I have all my Maybelline matte lipsticks and then a nude lipstick right here that's um, just a natural finish. And then in the front right here, I have three Clinique lipsticks. And then I have a Smashbox liquid lipstick in the color Babe Alert, which is this really pretty like nude warm pink shade. And right here I have the Stila like glitter liquid eyeshadows. And I just have them right here because they fit perfectly with this lipstick. They're all the same shape. So I just have them together, which I think looks super pretty. Okay, and so right next to that I have my brushes. These are all my eyeshadow brushes and smaller brushes. And then these are all my big face brushes. And what they are inside is um, candle holders that I've depotted from Bath & Body Works. And then I've just cleaned them out and they make amazing brush holders, if you can't tell. I have my eyelash curler from Tarte. And this is a sponge holder that came with my Eagle Tools sponge and I use this every time I'm using a sponge in the morning. I'll just put whatever one I'm using right here so it doesn't touch my desk and get all contaminated. Okay guys, and right here is kind of like a three tier kind of deal acrylic case. Um, it has like a bigger side right here, lipsticks right here, and just some more storage in the back. I have my MAC lipsticks that I use on an everyday basis. My new Anastasia lipsticks right here. I have a Bite one right here, which is one of my newer ones. It's the liquid lipstick. And then this is just a Sephora liquid lipstick. And then more MAC behind that. And right here is my favorite part because it houses most of my foundations. So I have like Estee Lauder, I have um, Marc Jacobs, Stila, Clinique Beyond Perfecting. I have my Hourglass Stick Foundation. This is a primer oil. It just lives up here with my foundations. Um, I have the Becca Priming Filter, my Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation, my Dior Air Flash, um, Urban Decay right here. Um, and then right here is mainly um, setting sprays and primers and also some foundation that just didn't fit. So this is one I use on an everyday basis. It's the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. I love this. Um, this is the NARS Sheer Glow. This is one of my newer ones that I've gotten and I want to try out. I have my MAC Fix Plus up here. I have my Smashbox Primer Water, which I love. I have my Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray. I use this every day to set my makeup. I have my Maybelline Matte and Poreless. Um, I have my Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. I have my NYX Angel Veil Primer, which is amazing. And then I have my Too Faced Priming Setting Spray, which, oh. I've been loving. I've been using this every single day. Okay, and so in the back of the setting spray section, I have all concealers. These are all doe foot concealers, so I have all my shape tape right here. Um, and then I have like a NARS. I have a Maybelline. I really love this one. I have a Maybelline Better Skin right here. And what is this one? This one's my MAC Pro Longwear. And right next to that, I have all my lip liners. These are just MAC, Drugstore. They're all kind of mixed in right there, NYX. Um, and then right here, I have a little Christmas collection. This was a Lorac lip kit. Right there, I have all my Bite lipsticks right here, the pencil forms, just so I could have them all together. And then I have a Bite lip gloss right here. I have all my Kat Von D liquid lipsticks right here. I love these. They're amazing. Okay, in the back section of this acrylic holder, I have some palettes that don't really fit anywhere else. Um, I have a Tarte blush palette. We have the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. We have a NARS like face and cheek blush palette. And then we have two miniature eyeshadow palettes. We have the Naked Basics and a Tarte one. And right here, I just have my laptop. And that's pretty much everything that's on top of my desk. I do have my ring light right here. I know it doesn't look the best, but it's the most functional. Okay, guys, now I'm going to go ahead and start showing you what's inside the drawers. Um, so in the first drawer right here, I have mainly bronzers and any kind of like compact. So these are all the same brand. It's the Ultimate Face Professional Powders. Um, they're just in every skin tone right here and have all these from school. Then in the back of those, I have just a couple of blushes that didn't really fit with the blush section. Then I have my two Laura Geller blushes right here, which I love. And then three MAC blushes right here. 
I have my Maybelline Master Chrome highlight right here. And then right here I have some Bare Minerals eyeshadow and blush, I think. Let me see. Yeah, this one's an eyeshadow palette. And this one is a giant blush. And it has writing on there from when I worked at Ulta. Then I have all my MAC powders right here. My MAC Mineralize Skin Finishes. This is a highlighter from MAC. I have my MAC Studio Fix Powder. Then moving on, we have a Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Physician's Formula Bronze Booster. Um, I have my Makeup Forever Highlighting Bronzer Duos right here. I have both shades. Okay, and next we have Becca. So I have my Becca Sunlit Bronzer. Becca highlighters right here. Then I have this NYC bronzer. Um, I have a Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer that's broke. Mm, but I love it. As you can see, I hit pan on it. I have a Maybelline, or no, this is a Maybelline. I have a Milani blush right here. It's so beautiful. I have a Dior highlight. Oh my gosh, I love this, guys. It's so luxurious. I'm going to pick up another one during the VIB sale. But this is the color 001. And as you can see, I've used a lot of it. It looks horrible now. But the packaging is still really pretty. Okay, and then I have like a miniature Tarte bronzer right here. Um, and some more bare mineral stuff I have. I think these are eyeshadows though. Yeah, these are all eyeshadow palettes. Um, they're like doubles and some of them have four. And yeah, that's all I have back there. These are two eyeshadows I haven't even opened. So I put them right here to try out. But they don't come in like packaging. So I want to keep them in that little container. And then right here, these are all foundations. They are the... Ultimate Face Luminous Treatment Foundation SPF 15 and I have them in all the colors. I got these from school for my makeup kit. Um, I have this MAC Holiday Collection set thing. and it just houses these four pigments which are super pretty. I was so excited when I got that for Christmas. And then I have some more stuff from my makeup kit from school. Oh right here I have my LA Girl blush that I love so much. Moving on to the second drawer, I have all my eyeliners and jumbo eye pencils right here. Just anything you put on your eyes, I basically have it right here. Um, these are all like my full size mascaras, except for this one and this one. But these are all full size mascaras. And then these are actually all miniature mascaras, which I have more of. Just because when you work in makeup, you get a whole bunch of sample sizes. And then right here, I have a whole bunch of sample size lipsticks, Marc Jacobs. Um, Smashbox, Bite, Hourglass, Clinique. They're just miniature lipsticks that I like to have. Um, these don't really fit anywhere, but this is my Essence Make Me Brow and my Anastasia Brow Gel. This is a ColourPop lipstick in a red color, and this is my ColourPop contouring stick in the shade Dove, which I love. Oh, and by the way, these are not even like containers. I actually need to buy more, but since I don't have them, I'm going to be using this stuff right now. Like, this is an iPhone case but it works really good to hold stuff and this is a bite case that I got for like a lip set and so yeah I just have them in there and this is another like container thing a circle thing and I have all my tube products in here so just everything that need is in a tube I have it in here like concealer primers I have some mask in here eyelash glue skincare some more primers concealer Okay, guys, so these drawers go far back, so I actually have a lot of space to continue buying makeup, which is great. Um, but this right here, I don't use. I just keep it for sentimental reasons. This is actually my first eyeshadow palette I've ever owned. This is when I first started to love makeup, so I love to keep it. Let me show you what it looks like. Hold on. So this is not only just an eyeshadow palette. You open it up like this, and it has all your eyeshadow in there. And then right here, you can pull this out. And it has a blush and bronzer and then lipsticks right here and lip glosses and of course it looks horrible because I never use it and it's so old but I like to keep it because it was the first time thing that I like got that was makeup related okay in the next drawer I have like kind of miscellaneous things so in the back I have my Bellamy hair extensions um these are some samples that I got from like Ulta orders so I keep them in there I have a travel size a Batiste dry shampoo and these are all just more sample size products that I need to try out. I have some earbuds in here as well. Travel 
container that I like to use when I travel. I have my travel setting spray, deodorant, makeup remover, powder, primer, just stuff I like to take with me to travel. I have some more eyeshadow palettes in here. I have my Urban Decay Vice 2 palette, which uh, I love this when I first got it. And I still like it. I just have new things now. This is a Sephora palette that I really haven't ever used. Um, so I just have those two palettes right there. And yeah, I don't really have that much in this drawer. Okay, so down here I have all my camera equipment. So I have just different cameras in here that I've used over the years for YouTube. This is the one I'm currently using, the Lumix camera from Sony. And the last drawer down here I have my backgrounds for YouTube. I have my pink one and my black one right there. Okay, so moving on to the other side. On the top drawer, I have mainly eye stuff. These are all ColourPop eyeshadows. And then I have my color tattoos from Maybelline. These are all Anastasia Dip Brow pomades. Um, I have a random highlight right here. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlight, which I love. So right here, I have some powders. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I have my Bare Minerals Well Rested Powder. Um, this is my NARS concealer that I recently got. This is an eye gel. Just liner by Wet n Wild. I have a concealer in here from CoverGirl, I think. Yeah, CoverGirl. And then right next to that, I have some blushes. So I have a Lorac one, a cream one by Stila, Milani. This is actually a cream eyeshadow from Benefit. Um, this is a ColourPop highlight, I believe. Yes, Smoke and Whistles is the color. It's super pretty. I have a Sephora blush right here. This is actually a liquid highlight, but um, I have a BB cream, L'Oreal, is this L'Oreal? Yeah, L'Oreal um, foundation, Cover Girl foundation, a Makeup Forever foundation right here. This is the Matte Velvet Plus. I don't actually like this, but I like to use it for Halloween makeup, like when I need a skin tone color. Um, this is a Philosophy like stick primer. I've tried it like once and it didn't really make a difference, but I need to try it out some more. And then I also just have some more sample foundations and stuff in there. So right here I have my eyelashes. Um, I don't have that many. I need to get more, but these are my favorites. These are Ardell 600 lashes. We have some wispies. Okay, right here I have some Vegas Nay ones right here. Some more wispies right here. And these ones are my other Vegas Nay lashes, I believe. I just put them in this case. And then I have some glitters right here. These are the NYX glitters. I have a silver and a purple. Okay, and so these little boxes right here are actually lash fibers from Tarte. Best info. They're just like little lash fibers that you add to your mascara to make your lashes longer. Um, the Tarte lady, when I used to work at Ulta, she would always give me these. So I have those in there with the lashes. So right here, I have my palettes from school, my makeup kit. I have a concealer palette right here, concealer and foundation. Then I have a lip palette that I haven't even opened yet. I have a colorful eyeshadow palette right here. It's super pretty. Then I have this like neutral, cool toned palette. Okay, so I have a random foundation right there. Um, but I have my makeup geek pigments right here. I have an Urban Decay eyeshadow right here, a NYX eyeshadow. These are just my single pot ones. This is a Stila Magnificent Metals glitter eyeshadow thing. I have a NYX Trio palette. I have this MAC single eyeshadow right here in Uninterrupted. That's a really pretty like yellowy brown. Um, right here I have eyebrow powders from my kit. And then right here I have a random Stila eyeshadow. And right here in the corner I have my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Then I have a gel eyeliner right here. It's like in this navy blue color. And then right here is a, what is this? Oh, eyeshadow. Or no, that's not eyeshadow, that's eyebrow powder. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, in the second drawer, I have all my baking powders. So I have my Cody Airspun powder. This moved. I had it like this earlier. Um, this is my Cody Airspun powder, my Too Faced translucent powder, my Laura Mercier. So right here, I have some random lip products that didn't really um, go anywhere else. This is the Marc Jacobs Lip Gloss and Sugar Sugar. I have this Clinique Chubby Stick, and it's for like your cheeks and your lips, I think. 
Then um, we have the RCMA No Color Powder, Cinema Secrets Brush Cleaner right here, a sharpener that I haven't opened yet. Okay, in this case right here, I actually got this case from my kit for school, my hair kit. I just took it out of there and put it in here, and that's why it says Paul Mitchell. Um, but in this little drawer right here, I have random lippies that didn't really go anywhere, so I just threw them in here. I have like Butter London, Too Faced right here. What else do I have? Maybelline, Tarte, Bite Beauty, some chubby like Ulta brand stuff, um, chapstick, stuff like that. What is this? More chapstick. So that's what I have in there. Right here I have all my NYX butter glosses. I love these. They're really good from the drugstore. Then on the top of that I have all my NYX liquid suede liquid lipsticks. I have all these colors right here. This is a random like highlight. This is the wet and wild. Oh, reserve your cabana highlight thing. I just have that right here. Okay, and right here I have all my Halloween makeup. So I have some clown paint in white, liquid latex, scab blood, scar wax, white paint, clear latex, um, some more stage blood. And yeah, that's what I have in that drawer. So in this drawer, I have all my nail polish stuff. As you can see, it's not organized. Um, I didn't want to stand them up because I didn't want them to tip over. But then with them laying like this, it looks kind of messy. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I need to get more acrylic containers. But I have like my nail file, my nail polish remover, all my nail polishes. I have some designing tools. Um, okay, so in here, I just have like some more nail stuff, some nail tools that I got from school. In this little tray, I have some paper clips, some nail clippers, some more nail clippers, cuticle clippers, a memory card. And back there, I just have makeup bags that I don't know where to put. Okay, right here, I have some skincare stuff and some lotions. So I have all my lotions right here. This is a makeup remover that I haven't tried. When I worked at Ulta, I got it for free. Um, some, what's it called, Tarte Guard sunscreen i have all my peter thomas roth mask right here i have a clarisonic um cleanser another mask from glam glow um this is a body butter from trader joe's and it's in the scent pumpkin and oh my gosh guys this is so like it smells so good then i have some more makeup bags this one actually has all my back to mac stuff it's an estee lauder makeup bag but it has all my empty MAC things, so I could back to MAC it and get a free lipstick. So I just have that in there. And yeah, it's just a little bit of stuff. Right here, I have some randomness. Just some hair stuff, carbon cocoa. This was from last year's Halloween tutorial. I was a mermaid. Sephora bag. Wood glue, eyelash, or no, um, eyeglasses case. Okay guys, so that's gonna be everything for my vanity. I hope that you guys like this makeup tour slash remake my desk. Um, if you do want an updated one with different storage and more makeup, because I do plan on getting some more storage instead of like the boxes and stuff that I'm using for some of the products. And yeah, if you have any questions about the products, leave it in the comments down below. And I will also have everything in the description box if you want to know what anything is that I used on my desk and stuff like that. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for you guys, so three times a week. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.